This is a brief demonstration on how to use the um, Microsoft Excel graphing tools uh, for the homework three assignment. So we're going to do a Google search for the economic report of the president. 2012. Take this guy, which is what I should have taken first. There's also a link in the homework to this, so you don't have to go through all these uh, gyrations. <clears throat> so you'll see down here um, that there's a whole list of chapters. You don't need to know about those, but in the appendices there's a list of tables, and I gave you the list of tables that you will need to download for your assignment. Um, so you can just download the XLS version of those. Uh, so for this demonstration, let's download um, a mock file here. And we can open it up. I'm using a Mac in case you're wondering. Um, and we're going to do a graph of um, national income uh, by year. Now <clears throat> we block off um, our years. We can go up to 2011 before we hit um, a problem. And in 2011 we don't have national income, so we're not going to be able to do that. We'll back up to 2010. And then on a Mac, you hold down um, the command key. Um, on a Windows machine, I think you hold down the control key and you can block off your other data set as well. I go up to insert a chart. It asks me what kind of chart I want to insert. I want to insert a um, XY scatter plot. I want lines in it. Um, I hit next and it shows me that I have a problem because notice here uh, it's just giving me 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. It's not giving me the years. So that means I have a problem in my data set that my data is not numeric. And when I click on 1963 I see that there is um, a paren in the corner. And so I can do one of two things. Um, I can either delete that or I can just type in 1963 here, make it numeric, go back up, walk off all the way down to 2011. Once I get to 2011, notice here after 2011, this is a little side note, um, if I was interested in quarterly data, I could get that from 2008 on, but I'm just interested in annual data, that's what you'll be interested in for your assignment. Um, then I go up to um, edit, fill, I'm going to fill with a series, it's going to be a linear series, if you hit OK it should just fill it in and you'll notice now it goes all the way down to 2011. Um, and the data should all be numeric but we'll see here in a second. Okay. Um, so I blocked off too much data, go there, change that, go back down, make sure that I'm uh, blocking off the right amount here, and then go insert, chart, XY scatter, I want one with lines because that's required for your assignment, hit next, and now it shows me um, the years and the on the y-axis or x-axis, excuse me. Okay. Um, now go up here, click on series, and it says series one. And for the name, if I click on the name, that little box just to the right of name, I can go back to my spreadsheet and click on national income, and it'll fill that in for me. I hit next and it shows me national income uh, for my chart title. I could change that if I wanted to. Um, the value of my x-axis is uh, billions of dollars, or I'm sorry, for my y-axis, 
x-axis would be years. Billions of dollars would be um, my y-axis, and it would be nominal dollars. And I hit next. It asked me if I wanted as um, an object in my spreadsheet or as a new spreadsheet. I always select a new spreadsheet, and I title it something that uh, is memorable. Okay. Um, so here, one thing you'll want to do is grab this uh, legend and move it into your uh, chart itself. Then you can resize your chart and make it more legible and a little prettier. Uh, now let's assume that I wanted to add another data set. I could go up under my chart menu item and source data. And it pulls up that window. Click on the series tab and I can go under here and add a series. Um, and then go back to my, oops, copy my um, X values, go to my series two, paste that in, go to my Y series, and then I can click on my spreadsheet there, and I can select um, any one of these. I'm going to select taxes uh, simply because it serves a purpose here. And remember, I only want to go down to 2010. Um, I click on the name. I don't want the name to be. Notice I'm clicking on the tabs there that say B27. Get back to the name. Um, click on the appropriate heading. It fills it in there. I can double check that I'm on the right one. D4. My data set starts at D5, so I'm good there. And I hit OK. And it shows me the chart again. Now this was the issue I pointed out in the hints. Notice that this data set is uh, on the same scale, but uh, the problem is um, it's much smaller in magnitude than my main data set. So I can't really tell what's going on here. So what I can do is I can click on that data set, um, right click on it or control click on it on the Mac, hit format data series, and then I can go to the axes and I can say, let's put this on a secondary axis. And I can hit OK. And then uh, this data set, taxes on production and imports less subsidies, you can see how it closely uh, matches the data set for national income. The key being that it is on the um, red off the axes on the right hand side. Now you have to be careful in doing stuff like this because you can um, be accused of and you could actually intentionally uh, deceive people uh, through your use of graphs in this case. But for the assignment that I've given you it's appropriate because we're not looking at magnitude necessarily, we're looking at trends and you could argue in this case also, you're not looking at magnitude, you're looking at trends and whether or not the two series track each other. And um, we see that they do. So now I can go up here, um, click on the upper left-hand corner of my graph, and you should see a series of dots around your graph. I um, copy it with Command-C, um, then I can go to Microsoft Word. You'll see here I already have one uh, graph in here. I can paste my graph in, um, and you ought to be able to resize these so that you can get fit two graphs on one uh, page, something like that. Um, make sure you put your names on them, uh, but uh, you also want to check for um, professional formatting qualities. Usually I would have this uh, graph here titled, which I don't in this case. Um, you'll need to do that. Uh, <clears throat> like I did up top graph, which is titled National Income. Uh, 
You'll also see here I have my axes labeled, I have this axis labeled, but I don't have this axis labeled. And if I have separate Y axes, I should uh, specify which data set um, is appropriate for which um, axes. And then here under billions four dollars, I should change that to billions of dollars. Um, but beyond that, it looks okay. So I should be able to save it as a um, Microsoft 1997 to 2004 document and you can send it off to me under the appropriate file name and email header. That's all there is to it.